and welcome to the Crafty Diamond. I am Debbie. Today I have part two of a kitting up and there's only 64 colors in this kit, but it took me over an hour just to get halfway. And so now I am working on this again. I am going to be finishing up kitting up this gorgeous stained glass painting. It's a 40 by 40. It's of a border collie and it's from Calming Canvas Designs. The static was so bad, guys, that I had to do this second part. So grab what you wanna work on and let's get started. Here we go again. This is what I have done so far. Gorgeous colors. I'm gonna close this and show you the back of all the gorgeous colors that's in here. And look at the static still. It is just crazy, crazy static. If you have not seen part one, I will put that underneath the description. And that one was just a blast, explosion of colors, literally. I had one of my first ones, and I've never had this before, that I had it pouring it into a tray. I'm gonna go ahead and put some static art all over this tray. That seemed to help last time. The bags are, let's see, I need 939. There's only one bag of 939, but they're like this. So I have to open all three of them and then I'm putting them into this tray that I have put static guard on. I also am pouring it using a dryer sheet underneath here. And then I am also, the ones I think are really bad, I am using my static guard swirling around in the bag and then pouring them into these containers. And then once I'm done, I'm going to go through and I have slivers of dryer sheets and there they go again. And they just tend to pop out of the bag and they just explode everywhere. So that's a fun that I have had for over an hour doing this. And now we are starting back doing this all over again. This is a navy. I'm probably gonna have several different colors in some of these because the, the static is so bad, it is sticking everywhere. It is sticking to my table, sticking to my hands, sticking to my clothes. It's staying on my table. It's not going in the floor, thank goodness. I am watching my dogs because I mentioned in part one that I have heard where some animals have had to have major, major surgery because they have eaten some of the drills that you know, were on the floor or wherever and they have gotten really, really sick. They've gotten the drills stuck and they've had to have some major surgery because of it. It was either blocking their airways or their intestines or whatever. And it was, it scared me so bad that it, my husband even heard about it and he sent me the article, the link and said, you need to look at this. And so I told him, like, you know, I'm really careful and the dogs are around. I don't have these on the floor. I watched them very carefully. And as soon as I am done diamond painting, I get either the broom out or the vacuum cleaner and I'm getting all the drills up and they don't get on my table. My cat doesn't even jump on the table. But once I am done with the diamond painting session, I clean up my drills and I don't leave them, leave the animals unattended when I have drills out. They don't have access to my room. Well, they do now but they have not in the past have access to my craft room, but it's been so cold that my craft room has the most heat in the basement and they like to stay in the basement. So I've just been putting them in my craft room and closing off their little room. And they're not real happy with that because they like to be in their own room, even though I put their crates in my craft room they don't have to stay in crates. They are both adult dogs. They don't make messes. They don't get into anything, but they are creatures of habit and they like to be in their crates. I keep the door open so they go in and out whenever they want to, but 
Yeah, I'm really on a tangent here, um, but I, I'm definitely careful. And with these exploding the way that they have been, I'm really going to have to clean this one very, very carefully when I'm done. I did finish kitting up part one of this and decided I've already got everything out. I'm gonna go ahead and look on part two. So if I say something that I've already said in part one, I do apologize, but I just did that one. Or if I don't say something, then that's why, because I just said it. But anyway, I thought I've already got everything set up. I'm already fighting these drills. If I stop now, I may not want to get back to this for a while. And this is not any problem from the manufacturer or any problem from Common Canvas Designs. This is just my life right now. Every time that I kit up, it seems that the static gets worse. But this is the coldest day that we have had in a very long time. At least two or three years is what the news is saying. And I don't know if that has anything to do with it. We've got our heat on a little bit higher than what we normally do. So that could be part of it too. Such dry heat. But then also the fact that I have a space heater right at my feet. Maybe that has something to do with it too. I don't know. I would just like for this to stop. Some of the drills were not very bad and some of them were just horrific. And it's gotten to where the static is so bad that when I open the bag, it just closes right up because the static is so bad. I have not had that before. And good thing I'm not gonna be working on this canvas for a while. While meaning a week or two, at least a week. So I'm just going to when I finish this, I'm just going to put in slivers on every single color of, let's see, 163, of my dryer sheet. I have cut up some little slivers. I'm going to put them in every one of these containers, shake it really well, and just let it sit for a while until I get ready. And then maybe some of the static will help. I don't want to open these because I don't want them to go everywhere. I need a 967, it's this one. And some of these, when I open them, it's like as soon as they hit air, they just go crazy. So enough about static and my woes. How is everybody doing? Are you having problems with static too? I know it can't just be me. I hope it's just me. I wish that it were just me and that nobody else had to deal with this, but I know it's not just me. I'm really itching to kit up my next Josephine wall, even though I'm not gonna start on that one till April. But I don't know guys, because I need to see how many colors the one that I'm gonna work on um, has. I'm thinking it's around 250, 300. And if I have static like this, it is going to be ugly. And I want to hit up my Josephine wall and video that for you guys so you, some of you can see, you don't know how, or you're not really sure how to kit up a massive diamond painting like that. And I've done three kit ups and I know now what works for me and what doesn't. Doesn't mean it's gonna work for you, but I thought, well, that would be nice for me to do that. But if it's gonna be like this, I don't know if I have the energy 
want you to do that. 970. I didn't think it was going to take me very long to kit this up. And I thought, well, this will be good. I can kit this up today. And then from there, I can go ahead and start working on my converted cross stitch and get that ready for Saturday. And I don't know, after all this, if I'm going to have that kind of energy. I may have to wait. It will be, this will go out on Saturday. Well, I'm not sure when you're going to see this part two. It may have already gone out because I am doing this one on Wednesday for part two. I know that part one is going to go out on Thursday. I don't want this to go back to back. So I may wait until the following week. So you probably have already seen my cross stitch conversion. I'm sure we had a good time together. I have not worked on my cross stitch conversion since end of November. I've worked on the mystery cross stitch conversion. I've actually finished it, which yay me. I am so glad that I finished that one. I am going to show you guys that one. It is lined up as a review and also a kit down. I do need to, I, mean, I finished all of the cross stitch conversion part, except for there's an outline to it. And the last, five doors or five sections on that one. I did not do the outline. I wanted to go ahead and just keep going, truck through it, plow through all of the counting, and then go in and do the outline. The outline's the same color. So I am working on that, and then I'm going to have that review up, show you guys, and when I go to do that one, I will give everyone well advanced notice that I am going to be showing it in case you have purchased the kit or you're planning on purchasing it. I know they have a restock coming from Diamond Art Studio. They have a restock of that one coming up. I don't know when, but I don't want to spoil it for anybody. So I'm not gonna post that on Instagram or on Facebook, but I will put a note on there whenever I have my post review and you can see it on the channel if you're interested. But I'm gonna give advance notice on all of that. So that way, I, I would hate to spoil the surprise for everybody because that has been what's kept me going. A lot of what's kept me going on that one is just the fact that I was able to to just dime paint it. I did not see any spoilers and I could see the, the picture coming together and that was so much fun. So that has got me kind of hyped up on wanting to work on a mystery canvas sometime this year. And I do have a couple that I can choose from. All right, I'm gonna have to put some more static guard on here. Let me spray. I just sprayed it all over my pants. I'm just gonna get this really good here. Oh, I don't like the smell of the static guard though. It smells like antiseptic. Ugh. You can use alcohol, rubbing alcohol, but I do not like to smell it. To me, it is like, because it's so antiseptic and sterile, it just reminds me of a hospital, which I do not like. I, mean, I guess who does, but um, I just, I don't know. Just, I just don't like it. So, I'm not using the alcohol. Also, ever since the pandemic, we have still had a really difficult time in... Oh, we've had a difficult time in finding alcohol. 
And so because of that, I really don't want to use up our stash in case we need it, you know, for an accident or something. We also use alcohol because we tend to get mosquito bites quite a bit in the summer because we sit out on our porch, which we don't have a screened in porch. We used to, and then we moved here, and we don't have a screened in porch yet. And so we tend to get a lot of mosquito bites and we use the rubbing alcohol and that does help with all the itchiness. So I just, I don't want to use the alcohol, but if it would work better than what I'm doing now, I would be all for it. I would be able to handle a little bit of odor just for the sake of this. But static guard seems to be working fine. I think once I also put some bounce, if I use bounce, some dryer sheets, I think that's gonna help. But I had no idea it was gonna take me this long to only do 64 colors on a 40 by 40 canvas. 30, 33. It takes me this long to do this small of a canvas. It's going to take me days and days on a J-Wall. I cannot work out of baggies. These don't come in baggies anyway, not the resealable baggies. So either way, I would have had to have done something with this. Even only having 64 colors, I still would have a problem working out of baggies. The resealable ones, I just, I don't do very well with those. Um, I've really tried thinking, this will save me some time. Uh, not really because I'm just not good with those. Okay, now I've got one of my 30, one of my 36 already, one of my 30, 41. 30, 30, 41 is in this stack. These are 33s, 33, these are all 33s, this is 30, all right, this is 30, 41, this is the next one. All right. Let's see what this is gonna do. I tried to pour this directly into the containers that just does not work very well because the static is so bad. So I'm just opening a couple of bags and this one did the same thing it did before. Mercy. I have to cut it down almost to the bottom of where the drills are or the bag will shut. I love this color here too. It's kind of a, I don't want to say it's a lavender, but it's kind of a lavender. It's a little bit darker. It's 30, what did I say this was? 3041? 3041. Put this on here. I could have used different containers than these, but I thought this would be good because. These are smaller drills, but need quite a bit of, of organizing. So I thought this might be, this might work for this. And then all of my Elizabeth Ward containers are in use. Yeah, there's a drill under there. That's not good. There's a drill under here. Okay, 3325. Let's go back to this back here. Let me find 3325. This is really pretty blue. I'm not going to do all three. So that will be pushing it. Let's just see what happens. Let me, just, let me do that. All right, let me just take these off of here first. I don't want them to explode again. That was the absolute largest mess. And of course, it had to be dark colors. 
All right. One of my favorite tasks of diamond painting is kitting up, but I'm getting to where it is most annoying just because of the static. I did order from Jaded Gem Shop for Black Friday, I ordered a kit and she will do a kitting up service for you. And I almost did it just to see what it was like. And she uses these same drills, I think. So I bet this is gonna have a lot of static. I mean, this is so bad. It's just, ugh. Okay. I thought, I don't know how to do that just to see what it's like for somebody else to kit up for you. But then I didn't want to pay the extra, and I thought that's kind of the part of my enjoyment is to look at the drills and see what I'm gonna be you know, expecting and different things. And then that one too is a cross-stitch conversion. And so I thought, oh no, because I want my cross-stitch conversions done a particular way, and I want them in larger containers. But let me try that just to see what it's like. 33.48. I wouldn't mind if I could figure something out about the static. I wouldn't mind doing a service like that. Offering the service where someone will just send me their drills and they will send me if they have a sticker sheet and I would get up. I don't know if there's even a need for something like that on an ongoing basis. It's not that you don't want to do that because it would cost money them having to ship it to you. There's no one local that I know of that does that. I don't think there's anybody that would even be interested. I guess it wouldn't hurt to think about it. But I don't even know how much you would charge. And if it's this much static, it's like, would it really be worth it? I wouldn't want it to turn into a job or a chore. That would take away all of the joy for me anyway. Let's see. All right, we are getting there. Oh, okay. This is a really pretty, almost like a celery. 3348. All right, there's that one. The next one is 3371. Uh oh. All right, there's this one 3371. How many do I have? 3371 here just in case it doesn't fit in one container. I'm not sure that it's going to. These I can see static already. The spray. I'll do each bag by itself so I can swirl my q tip in here. Swirl it all in this bag. I think of this bag, if the bags had little holes on where they could breathe. I think that might help some too, because these bags are packed tight, almost like they're air sealed. And then as soon as the air hits it, it's over. All right, so let's see. that I am running the q-tip over these that they start jumping. I mentioned Pop Rocks one point on one of my kit ups and I did have a couple of my 
my subscribers, my watchers and viewers, they mentioned that it's definitely called Top Rocks and someone else, and I'm really sorry, I do not remember who it was, but somebody told me that it was definitely called Pop Rocks and they actually still make them. So I thought that was really cool. I had no idea they still made the Pop Rocks. You know, when I was younger, they quit making them. When my kids were younger too, they brought them back and they quit making them because there was some lawsuits going on because people would actually get hurt in these pop rocks. It's candy. Alright, let's see how this is gonna do. Add some larger scissors. Now my hands are getting a little sticky from all this. as many drills of these as I can but some of the ones that are popping really bad I'm just not just worry about it later okay. worry about something later when you don't have any control over it I guess all right I don't understand why some of these are fine and others have so much static that it's pathetic almost the color of my walls. It's 3607. Okay. So now, I'm at 3609. I'm on number 44. I need to take off the numbers on here and just have the DMC number and the symbol. I don't need the system number. I don't know what they call it. Um, I do not need that at all. Let me go ahead and take this off of here. This. I just need something to hold on to. I'm also not keeping the number of drills. I don't care. While I'm at it, I'm going to go ahead and take this off here. This will go in my painting a log book. And when I get ready to start on this, I am going to put a start date. I may even keep up with my hours this year. I don't know. It's kind of scared to keep up with my hours because I may think how much I'm actually diamond painting might be kind of scary. I'm going to throw all of this away just to get things a little on the straightened up a little bit. Now I'm on 3609. I only have one bag so I'm going to put it on the end here. I hope that I cut this good enough. I did. Okay. 3609. Able to get this in a container without doing an extra step. I'm not exactly sure. Perfect. That was the best color so far that I haven't had too many problems with. Alright, the next one is 3705. I need this stack here. Here's 3705. Which more. We have four small bags of this one. I hope by you guys watching my video and you see how I am struggling with all the static that it's not deterring you from getting up or from working on a calming canvas design because. I'm getting this from Diamond Art Club. I'm getting this from Jay Gym Shop. Um, which one else have I done? Bella. Bella Art Diamonds. So all of the ones I have done 
really since October, Boraloa, um, since I've done since October, they have all had static. Some more so than others, but I don't want you guys to feel like you just don't want to kit up because of this. Oops, that went fine. That was my fault. But you, know, you may not have the same weather issues that I have. I am thinking it's just because of our massive change here in weather. But that's what is actually happening. But it will all work out in the end. I will have all my drills kitted up. By the time that I am ready to work on them, the static will be fine. Oh my gosh. <laughs> They're hanging on the end of the spout of the tray. It's almost as if they are, if they have a mind of their own. They do not want to be stuck in a container. So at least I am using this bounce sheet here and I can just pour it in. So there's that one. That was 37.05. And you can even see, let me see if I can show you guys. I mean, look how that's sticking. I am turning these over and all of those drills are sticking. There's a glare, I do apologize for that. It's the time of day I'm doing this and also the fact that I'm having to use my overhead light. But you can just see how that's, how it's just clinging on. That is really bad stuff. All right, so the next one is 37.26. That we're getting there, we're getting closer. And I am definitely all for it. All right, 37.26, these, and I'm not going to put my little dryer sheets in each one of these 66 colors and how many ever pots I've had to use because some are overflows on with you guys because you don't need to see me do all of that, but I will be doing that as soon as I finish kitting this up and finishing up this video. I will go ahead and take the time to just put those in there. It will just take a few minutes and then I will shake them up. Hopefully the tops will be on good. I don't have no problem. And then when I'm ready, they'll be done. Because the, the dryer sheet will definitely help with that problem. So I am not worried about the static. Not worried about when I put a diamond paint that there's going to be static. I was diamond painting one of my whips, and I have 11 of them, and I haven't used or haven't even opened any of my containers in a long time on the one that I was working on. It did not have static in it the last time that I used it. Well, when I went to work on my kit, it was so staticky. The drills and all the containers. I mean, they were already out of the bags. They were in containers. And so I did not have dryer sheets in those because I never needed them. And so I had to stop and put dryer sheets in there. And then they were fine after a couple of hours. But thought that was really odd. That that would be a problem. And they are everywhere. All right, 3727. 3727. Okay, let's see this one. All right. Normally, I can kit up directly into these containers. It is the breeze, but right now it's the best way for me to do this is to put it in this tray that already is covered with static guard. All right, 37, that is 37, 27. Okay. All right, so 
now I'm going to start on container two. And what I'll do with these is I will put the name of the kit that I'm working on, or I'll never know what it is. Um, I do have several kitted up. Did I kit it up one day? Um, well, several over the past year or so, and I never got back to those. So I do need to work on those or put them back into baggies and work on them later. 37.40. I don't do that anymore. I don't kit up just to have a bunch ready because then I don't know what I'm going to work on. I just knew what I wanted to work on, hit it up, five or six have been sitting there for a very long time, and I'm just not in the mood to work on them. I want to do them sometime, it's just I'm not, when I go to look for a diamond painting, if it's something that's calling me at that time, then I'll definitely work on it, and then if not, I may want to do it the next month or the next time that I go and look for a diamond painting for my, you know, my next project. I can't just say I'm going to work on certain projects, you know, um, in order. I want to do this in you know, January, February, March, or whatever. I just, I realize that after the fact that I am just, I'm not a seasonal diamond painter. If I feel like working on a Halloween kit in February, March, I'll go ahead and get one out. It doesn't have to be, you know, something for Valentine's or anything like that. I just work on it whenever the whenever it hits my fancy. All right, 3740. I'm on 3750. Are you guys like that or are you definitely a seasonal diamond painter? 3750. Sometimes in the winter I want to work on a really bright canvas, maybe one at the beach or something like that, just because it's so dreary and yucky out that it just makes me feel me. I was always that way coloring too. I would have numerous coloring books and I would have to be in a specific mood to work on certain things. And I cannot force myself to work on something. It just does not work out very well for me. If I try to do that, then as I'm going and working on it, I don't do my best. I am very slow with it. I have to be in the mood to work on it. So I guess you can say I am a moody diamond painter. That's, that's the best way to describe myself, a moody diamond painter. But then that makes me sound like, okay, am I in a bad mood? But it's not my mood, it's just how I am feeling what I want to work on. Let's see. But I'm not that way when I make my cards. I make breeding cards and I will go with the seasons on my cards. So in the fall, I want to work on a fall painting. And in the summer, I work on summer, you know, that kind of thing in winter. But I'm not like that with diamond painting or coloring. I guess it's because I know that whenever I give the cards away, I don't want to give someone a summer card when we're dead in the, right in the middle of winter. This is a pretty color. It's dark, very dark blue, maybe, I guess. All right, that's 37.50. Now I am at, dog is pacing. I don't know what she's doing. 37.56. She is all discombobulated because I've got her food and her bed and everything in my craft room. Both my dogs. And my oldest dog could care less. As long as she has her bed, she doesn't care where she is. She's happy and she's with me. But our youngest dog, the Collie, she is very, very picky. She doesn't like change. She's pacing back and forth because the light's not on in her room. No need to be when she's in here. I do have the door open in case she wants to go in there, but it is bringing 
and cold air. Alright, so that is, oh, this one's bad too. This one is 37, okay, 37, 56, kind of bluish white. 37, 66. I need to see. I have two of those. I'm gonna put this in another one. So I'm gonna put these. Right, 37, 66. This one is a large bag. Both of these are large bags. Okay. Let's see what's gonna happen. Seems like the more that are in the bag, the less static that it is. All right, so 37. I'm gonna have to put this in two containers. Now Molly is drinking water, so I hope you guys can't hear her. I didn't really think about that when I brought their food and water in here. And she's kind of a very noisy eater, and when she drinks, she's very loud. She's not like my oldest dog, who is pretty much a girly girl. She's very dainty. When she eats, it's kind of quiet. She doesn't make a mess. She doesn't slop her water. And then you have Miss Molly. And Molly doesn't care. She gets her water all over her, all over the floor. And food, she's very noisy. And our cat is really bad when it comes to her area, especially her litter box. She just makes the biggest messes. Like 37.70. I think this will all fit in one. Let me see. Like 37.70. Oh, look me. Like 37.70. I have things flying everywhere. I have three of these. I only have two. They should still fit in this little container. When I have overflows, I don't like to do it on the next line, next row, because then I will have to label it. I might get lucky, and this may fit in here. But look at all the static. Oh, all right. I wonder how many times I've said, look, I might I go back. When I am editing this, I may go back and see how many times that I said, look. Now, if you hear loud popping noises, my daughter is in the kitchen, which is above my room, and she is opening a cake top. It's very loud. All right, 3770. Now, I only have just a few left. 3779. I have two of those. All right, let's see what we can do here. See how well this is going to be. You know how long this video is going to be either. I am not taking this over to part three. Not gonna happen. All right, 37. All right, this one's 3779. Now I'm getting to the 3800s. That's always good because that means I'm getting closer to finishing. All right, now I need this must be my 3800 stack here. And look at all these drills that popped underneath. I cannot stand drills all over the place. I'm gonna put these in my trash container that I have open and next to me. Get this out of the way. All right, so now I've got this stack. Very good in there. All right, I need 3801, this 3802. 38, the there's the other one from the bottom. Okay. So we have four of these bags. All 
Okay. So let's see, this is a pretty color. All right, oh boy, okay. I'm gonna try to get these out of here without them going everywhere. They get on the bottom, the lip of the tray and they just stick. And that's what happened to all of these. I'm gonna put these in the container if I can. All right, it wasn't too horribly bad. It actually worked to my favor. All right, so that is 3801. I think I have five or six left. 3801, then I need 3802. 3802, that's four bags. Let's do this just in case. All right, 3802. At least these drills are really pretty, so I'm not complaining. And I'm really not complaining about the static. I mean, I am, but I'm not. It's just part of the diamond painting process. Now, if I didn't love diamond painting so much, I don't know, but I do, so I don't have to worry about it. Since I love diamond painting so much, the static doesn't seem to bother me. I just have to take my time and do what I can. All right, 3802. Thirty-eight two is that one. Now it's starting to get faster. Okay, thirty-eight oh two. Now I need thirty-eight eleven. Thirty-eight eleven. What was that? Thirty-eight eleven. And now my dog is snoring. What a comedy of errors in this. All right, thirty-eight. <laughs> 11. I'm going to have some major bloopers, that's for sure. Alright, 38 of 11. Alright, let's see if I can do this without making a trouble mess because I can see a lot of static in here. Alright, 38 of 11. That's a pretty color. forgot about it or it was by itself. All right, so 3 to 11. Let me take some of these drills off of here so I can't get them back in here. They're all over my hands. I need to do my nails. I just don't. Not like I should. I used to not even think about, would refuse to go out in public unless my nails were done. And now it's just, I don't how things change. Um, this is just, oh my gosh, I don't know if you guys can see this. I want you to see this. Look at this. Look how it's just clinging to the tray. And my hands. All right, so let me see if I can get this off of here. Okay. When I'm 
finished with this video, I'm going to diamond paint for about an hour or so, and then I'm going to edit part one and part two. But I'm going to, oh no, 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 no. Okay. <laughs> okay, guys. I knew it. I knew I would spill at least one. Now that my hands are sticky with the static guard, I just tumped the container over. What a comedy of errors. Oh my gosh, okay. If you have gotten this far in this video, and in part one, bless you, thank you so much for sticking with me on this. Either that or you're laughing your butt off. That could be part of it too. I'm sure my daughter will be. She likes to watch my videos and then she'll start laughing. Mom, did you know you did this? Well, yeah, I kind of did. It's always funny she'll ask me. Guess what? I watched your video and you did this. I'm like, well, yeah, I sure did. I was there. Um, just like I just hit the camera. I was there. Um, 3811. If you have gotten this far on this video, then I think you would really like it here. And I would love to have you as a subscriber. 3823. I don't have videos like this all the time. Majority of the time, I do not. 3823. But it's just a Static is just crazy on this one. I can't guarantee on my next getting up that I won't have any static. It is going to be a while before I have another kit up because I'm working on some larger canvases in addition to this one. So I don't think I'll be starting on anything new. Unless I break down and start kidding up my Josephine wall. But if I do, even then, I'm not going to have that one. I won't have that uploaded until March. Because I want it to come out right before the Josephine wall event. That Angie and I are hosting. Two more of these. So I know I won't have those coming out for a while, even if I do them. But I think with those that they are, I need to look and see, but I think those are the baggies that close, the little Ziploc baggies. And if they are, then I'm going to open those way before I decide to kit up and go ahead and put dryer sheets in there and just let them sit for a while before I kit that up. That's kind of the plan. Maybe that's what I should do now that I think about it. Sometimes I get my best ideas just by talking to you guys. Ugh, okay. Oh, said uh again. Okay, I need to think of something else besides, ugh. Okay, get all these little papers out of here. And then I'm going to use this dryer sheet. I don't tump this over again. Okay, that's gonna be here. And there's still some on the table. They're just, Drills are everywhere, guys, everywhere. Okay, I may have a nightmare about drills. Okay. I haven't lost that many drills. I've been able to put them back where they belong. If I find some rogue drills, I'm not going to try to hunt them down. I think I have the majority of these colors, and if I don't, I will just get some somewhere. If I happen to run out. I haven't lost that many, so I should be okay. 
I hate to close these and open them back up because then they shoot out of here. Okay, let's see, 3823. Right now I've got 3825. And that is going to be 3855, 3825. Do I have any other 3825? Okay. to do a third video today not knowing that this video was going to take me ages to do I want to go ahead and work my cross stitch conversion but that's not going to happen it might later on but I want to just sit back relax and diamond paint after this I don't want to have to think. My cross stitch conversion, yeah, that's diamond painting, but I don't want to think about it. I just want to do it. I hope I remember how. Okay. Might take me a little while to get back in the groove of things with my cross stitch conversion, but I really want to get back to it. It's a lot of fun. All right, 3825. Okay, 3841 is this one. Like six left. Six left. All right, 3841. Should not have taken me over two hours, two hours plus to do this many colors. That's kind of embarrassing, a 40 by 40 canvas. It's taking me all afternoon. All right, 3841. Oh, goodness. this one additional one right into these drills because this is kind of bad. Okay. And there's still a book here too. A little tangerine one that's stuck. And I have more that's stuck on the lip here. I'll try to get this tangerine one in this light yellow like a lemon off of here, put these on here. Okay, and then I've got these over here, my poor table. Okay, 38, 41 is gonna go all in one. Good, yes. Good night, nurse. This is just getting to be absolutely crazy, crazy, crazy. Okay, 3841. Oh, okay. Now, got 3846. There's just one bag. All that I have left. That's going to be a big one, though. Let's see if I can. I'm still going to put this in the tray and then try to pour it. I may do, since I just have the one bag, go ahead and do this. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, I'm getting tired, obviously. I just spilt that bag, so I turned it upside down. When you turn it upside down, it's going to fall out. All right, let's see if I can do it this way. As I said earlier, a comedy of errors. Comedy. All right. Oh, 
Probably should have just made this into a whip and chat or a kitten chat. I only have a few, but I'm not fighting that. In the room. Let's try this again for like the third time. See so if I can get these colors in there. I could have gotten them in there. If there wasn't that much static, I could have easily gotten this small little bit in there. But with all the static, I have plenty of extra containers. I'm just going to do it this way. Now I've got 38.54. That's 55. I have three small packs of 38.54. Let's see what I'm do here. I have 38.54. Three more left. I'm so excited. All right, 38.54 is there. Then I need 38.55. I'm going to put it in a different one. 38.65 is there. I've got 5,200. Great. So I'm going to put 38.55. slivers to pick up because now I figured out if you cut them as close as you can to the drills then it seems to help and now I've got these little slivers everywhere. I will clean it up when I'm done. I would rather the slivers of paper going flying everywhere rather than the drill. drills are not playing nice today and I'm not happy about it. All right, I'm not having it. 38.65 I will put here. Okay. I don't have any ABs in this strip. In this strip. Oh, I don't have any ABs in this kit and the way that common canvas is if you want to add additional drills you can and when you are ordering i just opted not to because it's a stained glass effect now if i decide when i'm working on this that i might add some ab's i will see what i have to add with it but i don't always add ab's or special drills to every canvas but I want to see, maybe it needs it when I get started. I don't know yet. 38.65, it does cost more to add special drills. You can add how many ever you want, but I just decided I didn't really need to. Oh my gosh, my table, I'm really not a slob, you guys. I'm really not. Okay, here's 5,200 and then we'll be done. Show you what these containers look like. Show you my excitement of finishing this. Okay. I don't know what it is about 5200 drills. They're just white. But I just think they're so pretty. I just really like these. Alright. And there's nothing to them, they're just white. 
All right. I tell you what, I'm gonna need a drink after this. Ugh, they are just, I was hoping the last one, would please don't be a lot of static, and it is. It is just so much static. They're just all over the blooming place. Okay. Almost time, almost time. I didn't even wear lotion because I thought, I just don't even wear lotion today. Maybe that would be better. Maybe they won't try to stick to my hand even worse. Doesn't matter. With or without it. I wonder if I get these in here. There's only a handful, but. All right. I have just a few more. Try to get back in here. And then I am good to go. All right, put the sticker on here. Not a sing. Yell praise, hallelujah. All right. Ooh, that was work, guys. I have to say, not just doing this, the part, part two, the part, I did part one, part two, back to back. And this has taken me a very, very long time to do. Did I say very? Um, let me show you guys. I want to kind of clean the table off a little bit just to show you that because there's drills on this side over here. There's paper. I wanted to show you what this looks like. How pretty that this is going to be. And it is going to be gorgeous. But I could not be happier to have finished this absolutely could not be happier it has taken me over two and a half hours to sit here and i mean constantly do this i didn't take a break or anything to get up this gorgeous canvas but i'm happy now so there is the photo again of this cute little dog i might put some ABs in the eyes. I'm not sure yet, but here's what they look like. Here is the back of this one. You can just see the static just jumping around everywhere, but look how pretty that these are going to be. How colorful this campus is going to be. So I'm all about that. Thanks so much guys for joining me today. I really, really do appreciate it. Hope you were able to get something done if you wanted to. Hope that your next kit up, the static, will not be as bad as this one. But I don't know. We'll have to um, see what you guys say. Um, I'd love to hear from you. You can put underneath the comments. And I hope that you have a great rest of your day. Until next time, happy diamond painting. Bye.